One of the exciting abstracts that we're presenting here at ICML is the activity of ibrutinib in patients with Big Neal syndrome. This is a relatively uncommon complication, but despite that, we're actually seeing more cases of Big Neal syndrome. This is when the disease involves the CNS. And as patients, you know, uh, live longer with their disease, this is becoming a frequent site of relapse. So for this reason, it's really important to be able to address Big Neal syndrome. Up to recent times, we've used high-dose methotrexate, which had its own share of toxicities. Uh, other therapeutics that were used, you know, had limited use, such as intrathecal-based methotrexate. Um, and so it was important and critical to our field to be able to innovate. And ibrutinib is able to cross through the blood-brain barrier. We showed this in one of our previous uh, studies. But more importantly, in the study here that we're presenting is a large series of patients, you know, in a multi-center collaborative effort uh, that looked at the outcome of patients who received uh, ibrutinib, and ibrutinib was given either at 560 milligrams a day or 420 milligrams a day, and what we saw here was tremendous activity uh, against uh, Bing-Neal syndrome for single-agent ibrutinib.